Hey, hey, it's Filet. Today is Sunday, December 15th, 2015, and you're watching Filet TV. Anyways, today we are in my garden, and I've been spending the last couple of weeks working on the season premiere of Filet's Garden. And I want to tell you, there's a lot of great things in store for this episode, so um, hang on. But anyways, I want to start by showing you this zucchini plant that's been growing here. It planted it last October, and so it's been in here for a year. And as you can see, it's been just doing circles inside this box. There was three other ones growing, but I pulled all these out. I didn't have the heart to pull this guy out because he's just been doing so well. As you can see here, I mean, there's tons of blooms. There's big ones. That one's about 12 inches. There's another one there that's growing. There's a zucchini under there. So I just don't have the heart to cut this guy up because I think he's still going to produce a few more before the end of the, the season. And like I said, today is November 15th, and it's hard to believe that we're still 70 degrees. Yesterday was in the mid 80s, so that's probably why the zucchini is still doing so well. I've been hoping for some cooler weather because the last episode I did was on Labor Day weekend where I tore everything out because it's been so hot and everything just died off. Anyways, we have this box here. We just got some kale planted in there and some chard. We're going to separate this out and add some more spinach in here. And here are some golden beets because you know how much we like beets here at Filet's Garden. This box here where I had my butternut squash, I finally pulled all that out today. And that's going to be ready to plant with something. I haven't taken the trellis down yet. But who knows, I'll probably take that out and grow some short plants. Over here is where my cucumbers normally are. There's nothing going on. Cucumber plant just got a little too tired, got burned up. As you can see, there's a couple of dead soldiers there that didn't make it into the juice. But we're gonna start over. We're gonna get some snap, snap peas and stuff going in there. Here's my guava tree that has doubled in size and I didn't think it was gonna make it after we had that frost back in February. And I wanted to show you, I found these Little shipping boxes that are kind of cool. They're actually from Sweden. They're from the Swedish Agriculture Department. Some stamps that I saw on it. But these things fold up. They're really cool. And I got a clean place to put my dirt. And I found these on this loading dock and I saw that there was a lid there, but I didn't grab it. And now I'm going to grab the lid so I can keep all this dirt clean in here. This box over here is what I call my juice box. And this I put everything that I'm going to grow and to put into each juice that I make. So here we have a ton of parsley growing and I got some room to throw some more. But the spinach, some room to put a couple of more spinach plants. Here we have my Swiss chard. There's red chard and colored chard in there. And then I found these great sorrel plants at Green Thumb Nursery. And you know, I love sorrel because it gives it such a nice buttery flavor, a buttery lemony flavor into the juice. And you can see with these red veins, these are pretty awesome. I've never tried them, but it tastes great when you taste the leaves. And over here is my French sorrel, which I had a ton growing in another box, but the heat that we had here in Southern California just killed it. So I pulled the plants out and I planted them in the ground. The roots are still growing, so I figured I'd put some fresh plants that I found at Green Thumb into this box here. A couple of years ago, I found one little tiny plant at a boutique and I was able to make that thing grow and have that survived for a couple of years and had a lot growing. And over here is my kale box. And as you can see, there's three different types of kale, which is doing quite nicely. Those have only been in the ground since like last week or something. And here's something pretty exciting. I don't know if you could be able to see it, but there's these P-51 Mustangs that fly overhead. Harrison Ford's actually in one of those. That's this club that flies over here by the Van Nuys Airport. They usually spend the whole day just flying around. It's pretty cool, actually. All right, back to the garden. So, like I said, this is all... Here we got some dinosaur kale. There's some red Russian kale and just regular leafy kale in there. Over here we have broccoli and cauliflower greens because I heard some of those those are some of the most nutrient dense vegetables leafy greens on the planet so last year we these things grew so crazy and we juiced every one of them and then we have a couple of red cabbage plants because I love making a little red cabbage coleslaw 
And over here, there's where all the beets have been coming up. Put about a million seeds in there and they finally came up. Over here, I think I'm gonna get a couple more um, red cabbage plants, because I go through at least a head of cabbage every couple of weeks. And here's another one of those really cool boxes that I got. This one actually says Volvo on the side of it too. And this is an area where I'm gonna have all my, all my cuttings are gonna be in there and I'm gonna chop them up and mix them into my soil. And this is gonna be my new compost pile. And then we have this great fig tree here that did pretty horrible during the frost that we had in February, but it came back to life and we had quite a few figs off of it. It was pretty awesome. Anyways, there you have it. We are here at the season premiere of Filet's Garden. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please tune back in and you'll see once everything else is planted and as the stuff grows. And I hope we didn't get started too late in the season. Because like I said, here in California, I mean, we had 100 degree weather in October, which was crazy. I guess October was the hottest October in history here for California. So it took a little while till we can get the garden going because everything was just so hot and there was no plant starts at any of the nurseries. Seeds weren't coming up, but looks like we got a good start going. Anyways, hope you guys like my video. I'll talk to you guys in a couple weeks. Bye-bye.